Hey everybody, and how are you guys doing today? I hope you guys are having a wonderful and fabulous day so far. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm Gabe, and this is Gabe Lips Makeup, and I'm a 50-year-old makeup artist, and I've been in the industry for 25 plus years, and I'm still in retail where I help customers just like you with skincare, makeup, and fragrance every single day. And with that said, today, guys, we are finally... <laughs> <laughs> We're finally getting to 2023. I'm finally going over through some of my best of 2023. Um, some of the staples that I believe in. Um, I cut out some things because I just wanted to go through the main things that I felt that um, I really, really enjoyed. I'm so sorry that this video is a little late, but you know what? Better late than never. So if you're interested and you want to hear what I've got to say about some of the things that I thought were great in 2023, then stick around and let's do it together. Guys, so let's get started. I'm not going to delay this any longer. We're just going to jump right in. Um, so first off, I wanted to talk about was my favorite primer of last year was one that I still haven't bought any full size sample sizes of. I've got so many actual samples of it because I got so many from the counter. But I absolutely love this one. It was the Luminous, um, it was the Luminous Silk Hydrating Primer by Lori uh, from uh, Giorgio Armani. Listen to me, L'Oreal. I'm, I'm already, I'm already on a hot mess already. <laughs> Just getting started. But the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Primer, it is absolutely beautiful. It's stunning. It leaves a beautiful glow on the skin without looking too greasy. I just love it. It makes the makeup going really, really smooth. It leaves just a little bit of tack on the skin, but leave the bit it feels very natural on the skin. I absolutely love it. So I definitely recommend this one. It's just so good. Um, so really last year, although there were a lot of foundations that did come out, I did not purchase a lot of foundations. I did test quite a few and some of them were samples like the Estee Lauder, the Serum Foundation. I think the Shiseido we did a sample with the, when it came out, the Revital Essence, I think foundation, the Serum, that, that foundation. And a lot of them I, you know, that I did try, I did like, but I didn't purchase a lot of foundation. However, there were two that I did really enjoy and I Actually, they are matte foundations, which is a little scary because I'm very normal to, I'm very dry, not normal, very dry. And, um, but I normally take them and I mix them with another one, but I didn't have any super dewy ones. A lot of them are already coming out this year, but um, I did have two matte ones and that was with the Taunty Doll. This is the Ultra Wear Foundation and the Gucci Eternity Beauty. I love mixing these with a dewy foundation or something a little bit more emollient or mixing it with an oil. I think they go on really beautiful. They stay on really beautiful all day long. Um, I really love the texture of both of these because this one's been reformulated. This was a whole new formula last year. When I first got this one, I wasn't really happy with it. But then when I played with it and started using it more and more, I absolutely loved it. Not super crazy about the color, um, but I usually mix it with a little bit of a darker foundation. And then this one is just really beautiful. Even though it's supposed to be a soft matte, it looks so beautiful on the skin. Absolutely love it. Um, definitely recommend it for you, even if you're a little bit more on the dry side. But if you want something a little bit more of a natural finish, I think you would really like this one. It feels very comfortable. It's nothing like the old formula. The old formula I did not like. And I could not use it, but absolutely love this formula. So these were my two top favorite foundations of last year. Um, so now going on into, oh my goodness, um, to go on into these with the concealers. The concealers, oh my God, let's talk. Concealers were just the it thing of last year. Concealers, blushes, cream blushes, bron cream bronzers, bronzers. There were just so many last year that launched. It was absolutely insane. So concealer... I had a little bit more of a tougher time trying to come up with the ones that I thought that I really, that, I mean, it was just, there were so many that came out and there's so many that I loved and I really enjoyed. It was very hard to narrow it down to just the few. Um, so first of all, I'm going to talk about the sheerest one that I enjoyed because I like a sheer one, a medium coverage one, and then one that's a little bit more full coverage. So the Lancome, the Karen Glow Serum Concealer, I absolutely love this one for a very sheer, lightweight coverage, and it leaves a very dewy look underneath 
underneath the eye. So I really love this one. I thought it was really beautiful. And then for um, medium to possible full coverage was the Haas Labs. Um, it took me a hot minute to play with this one and really enjoy it, but it is a beautiful concealer. It has a beautiful consistency. Um, absolutely love it. Love the Dove It. I love the Dove It. I love the way that it goes on the skin. It leaves a really beautiful look underneath the eye. It makes it look very blurred. So I really enjoyed this one. And then my top one of last year and I'm hoping that she comes up with a foundation this year is the Natasha Denona the High Glam Concealer. Absolutely love it. I have it on now. I absolutely just love this concealer. I mix both of these shades together. Um, this is R2 and R5 that I mix together. I absolutely love this concealer. It's just so beautiful. It's impeccable. It looks so beautiful on the skin. I can't tell you. Um, it's just hands down still my favorite concealer after all of the concealers that we got last year. And I and I bought a lot of concealer last year. I didn't buy very many foundations, but I did buy concealers. And this was my top one. I did, nothing can still beat it. Absolutely love it. Um, there are some, you know, new ones coming out already. Um, it seems like foundation stories started coming in. But I just... Out of everything that I tried last year, this was my top. I mean, out of really everything that I have here, this is probably my most favorite thing out of everything that I have, um, that I have tried, that I love even. But this one is just top notch to me. So beautiful, so gorgeous. Absolutely different. Recommend, recommend it, especially if you like a little bit more of a medium to a full coverage. But it's just so dewy. It's just so, it's just so radiant. But yet it just dries down so wonderfully. I mean, she hit it out of the park with this one. It did such a great job. Definitely recommend this one for sure. Um, so next up, there only um, I only have two um, powders. One is loose and one is pressed, and that is the Patrick the One Size Beauty by Patrick Starr. The Ultra Pink is my favorite. Absolutely love it. He has this in many colors, but I bought it in the Ultra Pink because it was the newer shade that he came out with. And I absolutely love this powder. It really has almost kind of overtaken my Huda Beauty. And um, that's saying a lot because I do reach for this powder a lot. I love this loose powder. And then Huda came out with a Easy Bake and Snatch powder. And when I first got this powder, I wasn't super crazy about it. I was like, oh my God, I don't know if I really like this or not. But it, I got it in the Cherry Blossom. And it's just such a beautiful powder. It leaves like a beautiful, a little bit of a glow underneath the eye area. It's just really pretty. The more that I played with it, the better I liked it. So this is a great under eye setting powder. It's really beautiful if you just want to just add a little bit more of a a little bit, it just gives a little bit more of a ump to it than an actual, the actual loose powder does. But it actually works really good with this one too. It works good with her um, her loose as well. But I just really enjoy both of these. They're just so good. Um, so definitely recommend both of these if you're looking for really good loose powder. Especially um, if you're a little bit more oily. Normal to oily, um, even normal to dry, you would love this powder. And this one, I would recommend a little bit more for normal to dry. I don't know if I would recommend it too much for too many normal to oily. I would probably do the loose instead. But um, but both of them are really great. I think if you, depending on the skin tone and the skin type, I think you would really enjoy these. But they are really good. And they were my some of my top ones of 2023 last year. Um, and um, yeah, I've got like a bit, I'm sorry, I've got like a script, guys. So kind of going over so I don't forget get anything um so um, blush so now we're going to go into blush so blush was one of those things that there was just so many freaking blushes i can't tell you how many blushes were out last year just way too many it was overkill actually but i narrowed it down to the ones that i felt like i really really enjoyed so my um one of my top ones was the Armani, and this one is the uh, it's the Luminous Glow Silk Glow Blush, and I have this in the shade of six. I absolutely love this blush. It's really pretty. It gives a really beautiful flush. It looks really good on the skin. It stays all day, um, which is I have a problem with that because um, my skin is so dry. It just 
soak the blush, but I really do like this one. This one's really good. And the Patrick Ta, this one is She's Wanted, is a cream and a um, a powder hybrid. Um, I have a lot of his. So he's got these in many different shades and stuff, but this particular color is so gorgeous. I really picked up a lot of plum blushes this last year. Absolutely just love them. I just love the way that they feel. I love the cream. I think it's just beautiful. This goes beautiful on my skin as well as it will probably look really good on a really beautiful fair or dark skin. It's just so beautiful. This was a really something that I am so glad that I picked up because it is very, very nice. Um, and then my favorite blush of last year, absolutely hands down, was the L'Oreal Infallible. This one is in Confident Pink. I also have this in Legendary Berry. Um, I don't have it out. Oh, yeah, I do. Here it is. Here it is. So, I have it in Legendary Berry. I have them, both of these. These blushes just outweigh any department store, Sephora, any blush that you can find on the market. They are so pigmented. They are so beautiful. They are all free. They go on really gorgeous. They are a matte blush. They are just, they are absolutely stunning. They only have like four colors in it, I believe. And I'm hoping that they come out with more because these are so good. They're only like 11 or $12. They're not very expensive. They don't break the bank. I definitely 100% recommend these because I pull, I reach for these out of any of the blushes that I have. I reach for these all the time. These are my absolute favorite as well as the bronzer. I love it too. They, I just reach for them the most. And that's what I was kind of looking at when I thought of these. When I thought of this whole thing, I was thinking of what do I grab the most that I really enjoy the most and what works the best for me. Um, and that's, that's what this list is. It's all about stuff that I wear on a daily basis or stuff that I really enjoy that I think that performs the best. Regardless of how many beautiful ones come out this year, these are the ones that I just think are best. And I just think these blushes are just absolutely stunning. And um, I forgot to mention, in powder makeup, the Maybelline Superstay, this powder, you guys, this powder is gorgeous. It's so beautiful. It looks so good on a dry skin because eventually... It, even though it's a super stay, it's supposed to be a 24 hour long wear, it just looks so beautiful in the skin. It looks so gorgeous. The glow comes through. It's just so nice with a brush or with a sponge. It's just so, and, and not only that, but it's only like 11 bucks. And um, I have this like in the shade medium, I believe, 312. And it is so pretty and looks good over top of the foundation. Looks good with the foundation. It's just, it's just stunning. I can't recommend this one enough if you are looking for a good powder foundation. I don't recommend this one for oily skin. I think it would, the glow kind of comes through a little bit later on. I think it's better for some combination, normal to dry, uh, dry. Dry, but uh, but it is just it's just it's stunning it's really good um so up next I have um cream two cream one is more like a cream highlighter and one is more of a cream blush so the Danessa Myricks cream blush that she came out with the yummy skin I have this one in golden hour these are so beautiful Ooh, I'm sorry um drop that these are so beautiful they go on so smooth they're super super pigmented just just stunning, beautiful creaminess, goodness. You just can't get enough. When you, if you're looking for a good cream blush out of all the ones that I did, other than the Patrick Ta that's in the compact, these are just some of the best, some of the best that you can find. They are just, they're that good. They are so good. Um, the other thing that surprised me last year and was towards the end of the year was the Huda Beauty. This is the Pretty Grunge Blush Gloss. So it's a blush, but it's a gloss too. So I'm gonna try to see if I can get a little bit out here so I can show you guys if it'll show up on my skin. But you can see it's like a it's like a glossy blush, but then when you put it on your skin, it starts to turn color. I love this stuff. When I got it and I did my Huda Beauty review of the grunge palette, the grunge palette, when I did it, when I did the grunge palette, I was so shocked on how beautiful this looks on the skin. It is so pretty. This is a staple. Um, it's only on her on her website. You can't get it at Sephora. You can't get it anywhere. Um, I don't know if she's going to keep this or not, but let me tell you, it is beautiful. So, it doesn't really stay sticky or it doesn't look gross or it doesn't look 
greasy or anything like that. It just leaves this beautiful flush of color. It's absolutely stunning. Definitely recommend it. It was like a top. It was actually a surprise, I sure. A big surprise. Was not planning on it. Totally floored me. I'm telling you, I was totally floored. Um, and then um, up next, of uh, highlighters, and then there's a face palette that I absolutely love, I sure. So my top highlighters are Glam Light. Glam Light does the best highlighters. I can tell you anybody that does a highlighter, Charlotte Tilbury, you know, um, any of these other bougie brands, Anastasia, any of those highlighters, these highlighters are just next level. They're just next level. I mean, you know, if you, but Glam Light does highlight like, it's, it's highlight. Like, it really highlight. But that's what I like. I like, if I'm going to do a highlight, I want it to show. Um, but I have, this one is the Friday the 13th one. And she's a little bit more of this blue iridescent white. And then, um, the other one is the ghost face one. And she is a little bit more, there's a mixture there. So, you can see, sorry, let me put down the hood up. You can see them. They're just, they're just beautiful. They just look so good on the skin. Not only that, but they're like, $13, $14, and you can get them sometimes on discount. I mean, I was really shocked that a lot of the stuff that I love this year was really more of the low end. Stuff that was like either indie brand or just, I, I'm telling you guys, it's just there's some good stuff out there. Not everything has to be high end. So, I was really shocked this year, but I'm glad I kind of stepped out on a ledge and, and, and looked at different things and different brands and stuff. It's just, there's just so many good ones, but I just love these highlighters. They're just, they were my favorite highlighters. Um, and then, um, my favorite face palette of last year was a big surprise as well, and that was the Lavour palette by Lancome, the Louvre, the Louvre, so not the Lavour, the Louvre, um, but it is just stunning. It was done with Lisa Eldridge and Lancome. It came out around September, October, but they're just buttery, gorgeous, stunning colors. This green, Oh my God, look at those. Just, it's just beautiful on my eyes. It's beautiful on the face. It's beautiful on the lips. It was just so beautiful. It's so sad that this was only limited edition as well as the lips because it was just, it just, just the packaging alone, this packaging is just, just stunning. But this was my top face palette of last year. Absolutely love this. This even out, outbeat like a Charlotte Tilbury face palette. I just thought this was just so pretty. Um, I think that the Lancome did a wonderful job with it. I think Lisa did a wonderful job with it. There's, even though I work for Lancome, and again, I am not sponsored or anything in this video whatsoever, and, but there's just a lot of the brand that just really made me go, wow, there's just a really lot of Lancome that I really do like. So, I just, I just love so much of my brand. I just enjoy selling it so much, but it is, but there's some surprise hits in here from Lancome that I just absolutely love, and I just had to share them with you guys. So, anyway, moving on, um, let us go into, I've got this, what are we going to do? Oh, shadow palettes. So, last year, some good shadow palettes, some really good ones, um, but these are my top three. I, I narrowed it down to just three, so I'm still trying to, like, wipe off that. See, it's all, it's all like, stains or that Huda is <laughs> get it off. Anyway, so these are my top three eyeshadow blushes of last year. So, this is the Natasha Denona. I need a nude. Need, do we need to say anything about how fabulous this is? It's everything you need in a palette. It's gorgeous, creamy, blendable, beautiful mattes, beautiful shimmers. It, it's just, it, the words just can't even describe how beautiful this palette is. It is just really, it is that beautiful. It, she is that girl. It, it is a really, really good palette. Uh, my second palette was the Ghost Town USA palette by Nomad Cosmetics. It is just stunning. Absolutely beautiful. Beautiful color story. Browns, cools, you know, warm green cools, just a nice mixture of everything in it. They're just stunning. These, um, the, um, these beautiful, look how the shift on the, or they're just, it's just a stunning, beautiful palette. And this Andy brand has really just turned my head. I absolutely love everything just about that they come out with. Um, I just love it. I love the packaging. I love the whole theme behind it with the ghost town and everything because they launched just around September around, you know, before Halloween. And it's just, it's just beautiful. I just, I just love their themes. I love what they do, but this is a really gorgeous palette. And then, my number one of last year will shouldn't surprise you at all, but it's the 
the Pretty Grinch palette by Huda Beauty. Y'all, this palette is just, it's, um, she, she's, um, if I can get it open, so I can show you. It's like, it's, it's so beautiful. Look at these beautiful cool tones and the mattes and everything. It just, it gives, it gives everything you want in a, like a beautiful, cool with a little hint of warm with the sparkle and the shimmer and the glisten and the even there's a gloss in here even though I haven't really played with the gloss but it is just a really beautiful overall palette um maybe next time that Sephora is doing this out if you've not picked this up this would be a definite high recommend it's just she's just stunning she's just a beautiful she's a beautiful girl she really is it's just it's just a beautiful overall palette Everything in here is just, it's just stunning. And I love the pigments. It was easy to blend. It's, it's overall just a stunning palette. The packaging, the, the way, the feel of it, everything. It's just, it's, she did it. She did it great with that. And the gloss was just total surprise to me. Not that I don't love everything that Huda comes out with, because I usually do. But sometimes I'm a little, you know, underwhelmed, underwhelmed. Um, but this one, I was totally overwhelmed. So, it's just gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Just love it. Um, by the way, I know you guys are probably wondering what I have on. This is uh, the Michaela palette um, with P. Louise. Um, I told you guys that I would do a part two with the blues and a little bit of the purples. And I did a little bit more. I did a little bit of some of the blues up at the top. So, we did a little bit of blue with this. Look, so, you have to let me know what you did below. This is not in the end for this, even though it did come out. I think right around Christmas, but I didn't get to really use this one. No, no, I did use this one before Christmas, and it wasn't, it wasn't, even though I loved it, and I thought it was a great palette, it just didn't make my 2023, my top, my very top ones, but I do love it. I love the pigment. I love the way that it looks, everything, and I did a neutral look with this one, too, and it looks really good, but, um, but I did love that one, but it was just, you know, it was just, it was just because it was all the blues and everything. I was trying to think of everything that I really enjoyed in a palette. And these were the top three that I thought that I really enjoyed the most. Um, eyeliners. I didn't really have any new eyeliners. Um, I love my Natasha Nona. I love my Lancome. There's so many that I just really enjoy that um, I just really have any eyeliners. Um, I really didn't have any, like, um, you know, uh, also I didn't have, there was something else that I didn't really have a lot of either that I didn't really add to the lip oils. There were just so many lip oils that came out. I really enjoyed the e.l.f. one. I mean, I really liked that one. But there was just some things that I just didn't really feel like we just needed to go through. So, I just kind of skipped over those. But now, mascara, however, we have a few. Um, so, I have a Clinique. I have the L'Oreal Telescopic one. This is the Victoria Beckham uh I always forget that the Vast Lash, and then this is the Lancome Louis. These are the colored ones, the colored ones. This one is the actual green one. There's a green one, a blue one, and a plum one. Um, but I just love all these. But out of these three, the four, I'm sorry, the L'Oreal Telescopic one, y'all, this one. It's like, but now this one is the original version. The waterproof one is the one thing. Like, this one smears on me during the day, but now if I do the waterproof one, it does not. But it is really good. The Clinique really surprised me. I was really shocked with that one. Really loved that one. Loved the Victoria. It was just really pretty. Very clean mascara. Really gorgeous. And then the long comb I love to use over top of another lash. Over another top of mascara. I don't like to use it by itself because I don't think it does a very good job by itself. But over top of another mascara, it does a wonderful job. But I really do love these. They're just really beautiful. But out of all of them, the telescopic took, them, took the top spot as far as me, I was concerned because I just love the brush. I love the wand. I just love the way that it worked. I mean, I just thought it was just overall, it's just a beautiful, glamorous mascara. But it's a glamorous one. But if you want a little bit more of a natural one, the Clinique or the um, the Victoria would probably be better for you. And then the Lancome one is very, very natural. If you're a very non-natural lash type person, this would be great for you. Um, and then um, up next, my favorite lashes of last year was the BK Beauty. Um, this is the Rissa Does Makeup Lashes. Um, she did a set of four different ones. Um, I have all of them. I bought three of them. There was one of them I didn't get, but this is in the Stiletto. These are my favorite ones out of all the ones that she has, but I absolutely love them. They're just so gorgeous. Um, but yeah, just love these. These were really good. They just, they're so comfortable. They stay on all day. They just, 
they well actually I didn't wear them all day, but I mean, but they stay they're the most comfortable lashes that I've ever tried. They're easy to put on. You don't have to really do a lot of work with them. I cut them a little bit, but didn't need to cut them too much. They're just really good lashes. I mean, you know, um, so every once in a while when BK Beauty does a 30 or 25% off, I would definitely, if you're looking for a beautiful set of lashes, if you, even if you don't wear them very often, these are really beautiful. They're definitely worth the recommend to pick up. And I gotta go back a minute. I forgot about um, bronzer, powder bronzer. So, a uh, Haas Lab bronzer came out, I think, I can't remember when it came out, but I didn't pick it up when it first came out. But um, I did do one bronzer last year that I did enjoy, and that was the Haas Labs. And I'm going to have it in the shade 8. Um, and I did really like this bronzer. When I first got it, I wasn't crazy about it. I really couldn't figure out why I didn't like it. But the more I played with it, the better I ended up enjoying it. And I really liked it. It still didn't take the place of my infallible because I just love that bronzer to death. It's just one of my favorites. It and the Charlotte Tilbury are just my favorites. But this is just a beautiful, it is a beautiful bronzer. It is very creamy. It goes on really nice. It just, it stays on all day. It's just, it, it is a really beautiful bronzer. So I did really enjoy this one. Um, so up next is, um, so my favorite lips of last year. Um, you know, you guys, I always talk about Dior and how much I love them. And I know that I do a little bit of work with Chanel. Again, yes, but I've gotten to where I just love Chanel lipsticks. I love their lipsticks. I love their lip glosses. I love their lip balms. I love everything. So this is the lip, the uh, this is the Le Beige Healthy Glow Lip Balm, and this one is in light, and this one is the um, Rouge Cocoa Gloss and 106, and then I have a bunch of the Chanel lipsticks, the Cocoa Balms, the the Cocoa Flash. I mean, all of them are just. If you guys have never tried out Chanel lipstick or a lip gloss, or a lip balm, you need to try one, because they're just so good. This lip gloss, I love this color. It's just so beautiful. I love it, like this pinky, berry. It's just, it's just, it's just stunning. It's just so pretty. Again, this one is 106, and then this is the, the if you like a good lip balm, but you don't like a lot of color, this one is the light one, and she is so pretty. She's so pretty and pink. It's just beautiful. They have a beautiful peachy one. There's a beige one. There's all kinds. But all of their lip products are just stunning. So I'm, I just didn't even have a category to put in. I just put the, all the Chanel lipsticks. Any Chanel lipstick, I definitely recommend you go out and try. The long wear ones are amazing. The one with the duos, they're just great. Um, the cocoa flashes are amazing. Everything is just so, so good, guys. So, if you ever want to try a really good lipstick, and you know, and, and uh, they're pricey. They're pricey, and they're expensive, but just, just one, just to try one, I definitely would give it a shout out and try it, because I think you would really enjoy it, because if you've never tried a Chanel lipstick, I definitely would try it. Their lip balms are really good, too, but the lipsticks and the lip balms and the lip glosses and stuff are just... They're just chef kiss. They're just so good. And um, you know what? I can't believe it, but I think we're done. Oh, 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 wait a minute. I've got one more thing. I'm so sorry. I did forget one thing. So matte lipsticks and anti-matte lipsticks. I fell in love, re-fell in love with the Lancome anti-matte and the matte, the drama matte lipstick. Now this is from the Louvre collection. You guys, these are so comfortable. They feel so good. The colors are just stunning. I have got so many of these. I've got a few of these, and I had them, and I was just like, you know what? Let me start wearing And then I started wearing them, and everybody was asking me when I would post that they were like, what are you wearing? What is that lipstick? Blah, blah, blah. I mean, they were just going nuts. Over. But these are just so creamy and so delectable on the lips. They just feel so good, but they're comfortable, but they're not shiny, but they feel really good on the lips. The, these and the Intimate lipsticks are just stunning. So they're really good, but this was part of the Luke collection, but I do have a bunch more back here that I do love, that I enjoy, but these Drama Matte and Intimate lipsticks by Lancome are just great. If you're looking for a really good matte lipstick, they are so good. The Chanel Velvet, they're really good too, but the Lancome matte lipsticks are just they're, they're, they're chef kiss too. They're just so good because I don't normally like matte lipstick, but I really like the Lancome matte lipsticks. They're really good. And I've really been using it too on customers and they really like them, especially people that have dry lips. They've really enjoyed them. Um, but anyway, guys, that's it. I try to make this as short and as sweet and as fast as I could so it wouldn't be so long and so boring. 
Um, but anyway, I hope this little list was helpful. I hope you enjoyed my little bit of 2023. I have a little bit of a worst coming soon, probably. We might talk about, or at least maybe just some worst products that I've tried. Because um, I do have a, quite a few little duds that I didn't care for. Um, in beauty and in health and some of the other things, too, that we might have to do a video on soon. But anyway, let me know down below what your thoughts are. Were any of these your fa or favorites or would you see something new that you enjoyed or what have you know? Just let us know down below what you think in the comments. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe and come to, welcome to our little uh, Gabe. Gabe loves makeup family because we would love to have you because why would you not want to stay with this face? I mean, come on, this face. This face is given today, honey. It's slimming. She is slimming, girl. She is slimming. Why would you not want to slim with the rest of us? <laughs> if you didn't like this video, then you know what? Thank you so much for being here anyway. We really do appreciate it. Because if you made it this long, I mean, I'm telling you, you must you must like some. But anyway, thank you so much for being here. Please take care. Have a good rest of your day. Oh, remember. Oh, I'm sorry. You know, um, be safe, be strong, be proud, then tall. Love yourself. Remember, tell somebody that you love the day because life is way too short. Remember, be kind to somebody because kindness can go off a long way. And with that said, then we can say good night or good day, good afternoon, whatever it may be. Take care, and we will see you again in the next episode. Bye.